I thank that gentleman for his speech and to continue the debate. I call on the first speaker in opposition to give her speech. their family. 
no thank you. Finally, on to my third point, and we say that this is possibly a bit of a fluffy point, ladies and gentlemen, but we think it's just as important. Because what we say is that people often, and we've seen this a lot in the case of the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, where they do have a massive problem with anorexia, is that people who've gone through the health system and who have recovered from anorexia often go back to the forums that they used whilst they were anorexic. And we say that often people who have anorexia, who have already told you, don't go to their doctors, don't go to their mothers and their fathers or their brothers and sisters, the people that could help them. And they need someone who's been in that situation before them, ladies and gentlemen. They need someone who they'll actually listen to. And we say that what this does is it gives the forum to thank you for people to actually listen, ladies and gentlemen. And for people who are the kind of people that will be listened to by these young girls and boys who do have problems, to actually go and have their view heard. Because what we say is that often in the case of these kind of psychological diseases, where necessarily you feel like you're inadequate and you're not going to listen to people who you feel are being patronizing, ladies and gentlemen. You need someone who can stand there and say, I've been through it before, you can recover. And we think that this is the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. And we say that what you're doing by getting rid of that website where many of the anorexics go, you're getting rid of the place where people can go to help them most. So what have I told you in my speech? Well, firstly, I told you that we don't think that they've given us sufficient criteria to ban it, ladies and gentlemen. We say that even if there weren't any benefits, we don't think that they should be. But what I've told you is that there are benefits, because I've looked at the nature of anorexia, and I've told you that naturally all they're going to do is make them more solitary, ladies and gentlemen. That's the last thing that we want to do with this kind of disease. Because they don't need anything to be anorexic, ladies and gentlemen. They don't need these websites. They can go elsewhere. But what the websites do is they provide a forum. They provide a forum where psychologists can find out about the disease, ladies and gentlemen, but also where recovered anorexics can help those people recover by showing that they've done it before them. And for these reasons, I'm very proud to have